Hey, 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 it is an unstoppable day. It's your boy, Terrence, the Unstoppable Coach Leffridge, with an unstoppable thought. I know, I know, I know you're saying, where you been, Coach T? Where you been? Where you been? Well, let me just tell you, if you read the title of this rant, this piece, this motivational moment, this unstoppable thought, you know that my life's been effed up lately. I mean, it has been so effed up. I haven't even had the ability or the the desire to come on and be a motivation to you. Now, you know, each and every time I come on, I want to be on a motivator and I want to let you know that you are unstoppable and I am unstoppable. But I tell you, there are times where even Mr. Unstoppable is really put to the ultimate test. And I have been going through some effed up times over the last few weeks and months. And so I just want to put it out there. And I would be lying to you if I told you every day is 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 going to be great just because I say it's an unstoppable day. No, not that is truly not the fact. You can be unstoppable and still have effed up days. And let me tell you, my personal life has been effed up. My professional life has been effed up. Uh, families, uh, situations with my family has had me effed up. And it has just been an effed up time in my life. How many of y'all know about having some effed up times in your life? Yeah, I know. I know if you're honest, you'll say that you have had some times that have completely effed you up. Some of those things have been your own causing. Some of those things have been out of your control. But no matter what it is, <laughs> I have gone through my effed up phase. I've gone through my pity party and I am here to give you the solution. Because here's the thing, I found the solution. I found the solution to get over my effed up days. And I realized that it was just the devil getting busy. The devil was getting busy because I made an intentional plan in my life. I made an intentional plan in my life to move in another direction. I made an intentional plan in my life to step outside of my comfort zone. I made an intentional plan to move to the next level of my greatness. And that just completely effed the devil up. So now the devil had to come back and he had to hit me with body blows and he had to hit me where I lived and he had to hit me in places that he knew I was still vulnerable. Because even though I am unstoppable and I tell you to be unstoppable too each and every day, I know that we all still have vulnerabilities. I know we still have things, each and every one of us, that if we get hit in the right spot at the wrong time, it will knock us down and try to take us out. And you would end up having a effed up day too. But here's what I know. Every time the devil uses something for bad, <laughs> the creator has has the way to turn it around for something for good. And so here's the solution. Here's the four things that I want to give you to make sure that you don't continue to have an effed up day. And then in the reverse, you can F up the devil's day at the same time. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready, put, put in the feed saying, hell yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to F the devil up. This is going to blow your mind and this is going to F him up if he's messing with your world and trying to give you an effed up day as well. So here we go. Here's the four key solutions to F up the devil's day when he's trying to F up your life. Number one. The number one way that the devil's been trying to F up my life is he's been hitting me with that other four letter word that begins with F. F E A R. Fear. False evidence appearing as real. Man, he's been throwing some evidence my way that looks as real as the day, not just uh, my own stories, but he's been hitting me where I live. He's been hitting me with stuff that that has really, uh, really, if I wasn't unstoppable, would have had me going in the other direction. But here's the first key. You got to face the fear and do it anyway. Yes, indeed. Somebody put that in the fear. Face the fear and do it anyway. So when I made those intentional decisions to move outside of my comfort zone and to take it, what I'm going to do to the next level over the next couple of months and to move in a different direction, boy, number one, that fear was hitting me all over the place. Was it my time to do that? 
Is this really the right time for me to be doing what I want to do? Is my intention strictly for selfish reasons or is it for me to be able to be a blessing and a testimony to somebody else? All those things became fearful. Will I have enough finances to do what I want to do? Will it affect my family in a negative way or in a positive way? How will the people who depend on me in the place where I am currently feel when I step out of that place and move into a new place? Fear. I had to get over that fear and I had to acknowledge that that fear was there. So that's my key to you. Acknowledge that whatever it is you're trying to do, whatever decision you have to make, whatever defining moment you are facing right now, fear is going to be there. Fear loves to hang out in the place of our vulnerabilities. Fear loves to hang out in the place of our confusion. Fear loves to feed upon those things that are weakest in our mind, body, and soul. But if you face the fear and do it anyway, you go F the devil up because he doesn't know how to, how to deal with that. He thinks your number one flaw is your fear and if he can feed on your fear he'll keep you stuck where you are instead of going forth and being the unstoppable person that you were created to be so the first key solution in order to f the devil up is to face the fear and fight it anyway second thing is i want you to understand that in order to F the devil up and have a fabulous, unstoppable life, you have got to step back and find the footing of your foundation. Let me say that again. You have to step back and find the footing of your foundation. Well, Coach T, what do you mean by finding the footing of your foundation? Well, that means I need you to step back and I need you to refocus on your family, your friends, and those other folks. Yeah, there's that F word again. Family, friends, and other folks who have created your foundation from which you live upon right now. The, your family, they, they inbred it the good the good spirit inside of you and they built within you a strong foundation of integrity and common sense and book sense. Uh, you want to uh, focus on your friends, those maybe those five friends in your life that are going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Uh, you don't want those yes men right now. You want to focus back on those people who are going to be your friends, whether you are effing up <laughs> or whether you are doing right. And those other folks, they might be your mentors who uh, you are in emulating not imitating they may be your teachers your preachers those people who have uh, instilled things and thoughts and lessons and and education inside of you to help you move to the next level of your greatness as you continue to fight through the fear and face it anyway so you've got to find the footing of your foundation those friends folks and other uh, family that have worked with you to get you to this point are going to be the same friends family and other folks that are going to help you get to the next level and overcome this fear so that you will no longer have a effed up day effed up life and in the process you can f the devil up at the same time so those are the first two first two things. Number one, you have got to face the fear and do it anyway. Number two, you've got to find the footing of your foundation. And number three, and number three and four, they're running neck and neck as far as importance in my life, is you've got to find time for yourself. Man, with all the things that I have been going through lately, it has me running left, right, up, down, all over the place. And I haven't had the time to find time just to be with myself, by myself, doing things for myself. And if you can't find the time to be by yourself and do things for yourself, then you're going to end up losing yourself in all the other stuff that the devil has been working on to F your day up. And you're going to find yourself with failing health. You're going to find yourself with effed up finances. You're going to find yourself in a situation that you is going to be worse than the fear that got you to this point of an effed up day in the first place so find some time to to be by yourself and to meditate and to pray find some time to go to the gym and work out some of that stress or get a nice massage uh, you know to, to get the tension out of your back and out of your neck whatever it is that you can do to find 
yourself and to get that quiet time where you can refocus and find that footing of your foundation so that you can face the fear that is effing your day up right now. Do it. And then finally, and most importantly, I think in all things, you've got to learn how to follow God. Follow God. You know, in the book of John, they I've been hearing over and over again the story of Jesus, Peter, and the water. Jesus, Peter, and the water. Jesus told the, the disciples to go out on the water in the Sea of Galilee. And then they were out on the water and they got caught up in the midst of the storm. And in the midst of the storm, there was a, per a person that appeared and it was Jesus. But they didn't believe it was Jesus because they didn't believe that Jesus could be out there on the water without any boat in the midst of the storm. And especially Peter. Peter didn't believe it. And Peter asked God to prove that he was Jesus. And Jesus told him to step out of the boat into the water. And miraculously, Peter was able to walk on water because he followed God's instruction. But the moment he took his eyes off of off the of God and off of the instruction he started to fall in the water and he started to drown there's my message to you when you take your eyes off of the source of your power who gives you the ability to F the devil up on a daily basis then you become susceptible to what it is that the devil is trying to do in your life to steal kill and destroy your life but when you follow God and you just take it one step at a time one step out of the boat, one step on the water, another step on the water. And if you just keep following God, then you will find your footing for your foundation. And you will be able to find that time for yourself because you'll be able to focus on the person who gave you life in the first place. And then you will have the strength and the desire and the motivation you need to face your fears each and every day and do it anyway. And in the process, <laughs> you will F the devil up and he won't know what to do with it. So that's my unstoppable thought. I know it was a little bit long, but I had a lot on my mind and a lot on my heart and a lot of unstoppable thoughts to share with you. So here's my four solutions to make sure that you have a fabulous life and F the devil up at the same time. Number one, face the fear and do it anyway. Number two, find your footing and your foundation. Number three, find time for yourself. And number four, follow God. If you follow those four key solutions, then you too <laughs> will more than likely go from having an effed up life to having an unstoppable life. I guarantee it. I dare you to try it. I double dog dare you to try it. Face the fear. Find your footing in your foundation. Find time for yourself and follow God and you too will be unstoppable. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you know somebody who's having a effed up day or an effed up life even and they need the solution to F the devil up, then share this video with them and please like and comment on it. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for all your support. Keep praying for me. I'll keep praying for you. And wherever you are in the world today, you know what I say. Don't just make it a great day. Make it an unstoppable day. Take care.